video, I'm going to take you through um, creating a program to implement this elevator simulation that you saw in the lecture slides for this week. So the first thing I got to do is launch NetBeans. So I search for NetBeans. I'm using a Mac, but the functionality should be very similar on your PC. And the second thing that we have to do is we have to come up with go file new project and on this first screen always accept the defaults the Java category should be selected and Java application and click on next and I'm going to call this elevator simulation to elevator simulation two. the reason that I'm calling it that is because that's the name that was used in the um, example now note this checkbox here for create main class as you remember from the last chapter the main method is the single entry point to every Java application. We want to make sure that's checked so we get our main method and click on finish. First thing that I do is I go through and I delete the comments because I'll, I'll add back in the ones that I need. But for now I'm just going to delete these extra comments here. And I like moving the braces to the beginning of the next line. I think that it makes the code much easier to read. I'm going to put my code window side by side with my code that I want to implement. So in NetBeans we always leave the package statement at the top. This is peculiar to NetBeans and it requires that package statement to, to say where this file belongs. So we just leave that alone. The second thing that you'll notice is Elevator Simulation 2. My name matches the name of the code from the book. And then Public Static Void Main String Args, that's the single entry point and leave that alone and then I just start typing scanner in equals new scanner if you're anything like me um, your uh, typing will be worse when you know people are watching so I'm going to pause this video and continue on with the next one. Oh, right before I do let me show you I've got a scanner is underlined in red and that's because I have to come over here to this where the line number would be if we could see it click on that one time Add import for java.util.scanner. Scanners defined by the nice folks at Sun Microsystems or Oracle, but we need to import those definitions if we're going to be able to use that class. And notice how that added this import statement right up here. Now I'm going to pause this so I can type some more code, and I will catch up with you in the next video. So let's see.